what's going on everybody z here welcome back to some more astroneer so last episode we went we got some silos we got some lights we got some things rock and rolling so we are going to start off this episode actually the whole episode is probably gonna be dedicated to it we are going to move our base into our mountain we're gonna make our mountain base it's gonna be fantastic it's gonna be amazing hopefully you guys enjoy if you do don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more so uh first thing i want to do is we need to get that uh we need to get that new that that different angle platform because the things that we have i don't like them on the ceiling like this it doesn't look quite as well like it doesn't it doesn't look very good so i want to go with um i think i want to go with this tall platform yeah we're gonna go with this guy and it requires copper lucky for us copper is you know on the mountain and uh, we are in the mountain so that's completely fine that works for us it works um and then we're gonna start moving some things in here so let's start off by hmm i feel like we also need an oxygen tank now that i'm thinking about it i think the oxygen small oxygen tank. okay you know what we need to do we need to get some research going that's what we need to do uh we'll grab this research item and we'll throw it on here because we're not making any bites right now that's horrible terrible awful disaster uh 7400 fantastic you do you all right is this thing fixed yet no uh no okay so let's go ahead let's pull it off of here grab some graphite we're gonna package it and replace it um apparently other people are having the same issue so and a lot of people were like oh just try this and it it worked for me <gasps> there goes the resin fantastic and we're just gonna leave it in there for now because i don't need it yet but what i do need is some see we're getting 228 per hour that's amazing i need some copper and i really wish i had an oxygen tank right now i really do uh we are really close actually oh yeah we're super close we'll wait for the auction to get done and we'll make an auction tank or two and then we'll fly up there find some copper do all of that do i have okay i have that do I have a battery? I have a battery, but it's using it. Hmm. 52,000 yet? No, not yet. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, yes, all good things. All good things. Also, uh, we've been having some giveaways in the Discord. If you guys are curious, Discord link down below. Um, go head over to the hashtag giveaways section of the uh, the Discord chat there. And you can see all the information on how to win. I think right now we have a Kerbal Space Program. Kerbal Space Program uh giveaway going on for steam and then i am going to start up another astroneer giveaway here in the near future so head over there if you guys are interested in getting a copy of astroneer for steam yeah so that's the thing that is a thing all right now let's grab this because we need what am i doing this guy yeah uh where's the oxygen canister oxygen tank fantastic let's go ahead and get another one let's just get two of them that way we don't have to worry about it too much and then we'll grab i don't want to grab i don't want to grab too much stuff because i want room for copper right now i only have room for six uh i think they'll be all right especially with the jetpacks i think we'll be good all right let's do it let's go get some copper <gasps> hello copper how are you uh jetpack's amazing <laughs> it's absolutely amazing i think everybody agrees when they say the jetpack was a marvelous marvelous thing to come along here all right so i need a few of these i'm probably gonna run out of power before anything Hopefully not. Actually, wait, does the drill mod not take power? <gasps> oh, that's wonder. Oh, it does take power. It's just very slow. Okay. All right. Well, never mind then. I was like, oh, it's not even taking power. Oh, wait. Ooh, I'm full already. Oh, geez. Okay. Let's head back. <laughs> I love this thing. I kind of wish that the jetpack sound was a little quieter. Uh, so I do apologize if your eardrums are being blown out by this thing, but like trying to keep the, uh, the game volume and like the sound effects volume of like digging and stuff like that. Uh, I think those could use a little little bit of a tone down. Uh, my opinion, though. No, I am a... Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get some things smelting as well. It is daytime. So that means things will smelt very nicely. And I am going to go grab more of that wonderful, wonderful copper. And another load of copper is ready. Perfect. Go ahead and throw that on here as well. Um, I got to say the... Uh-oh. Uh uh-oh. <laughs> we're full. We're full. No, we're completely full. Okay. So there's that. Fantastic. Um, let's go and grab one. Where's all the other copper? Two, three, four. Let's start off with four and let's see where that puts us as far as these little platforms go. Yeah, tall platform. That's what I need. I need that in my life. What's our bites at? Okay, cool. So we're getting bites slowly, but we shouldn't need a whole lot of, uh, we shouldn't need a whole lot more bites right now. 
we will have to eventually work on base power stuff so that'll be happening as well but we'll get there and there's the fourth one perfect all right so this can just chill out here doing its thing and let's go in here and let's move some things around a little bit so the obvious first obvious thing to do with these four is put them in the four corners right absolutely uh so let's go ahead and unpack all of these i don't think they're okay cool i was like are they too tall <laughs> to even fit in here <laughs> no they're good okay cool um let's go ahead and get this over here like that fantastic and let's see oh no it is too tall <laughs> that's not gonna work for us at all uh, uh oh uh oh it's hanging <laughs> get down here uh, okay so i need to apparently find a flatter area right here that we can uh bring over is that that looks pretty good we'll go with that we'll see how that works will will you work for this maybe all right so that looks much much better oh we just lost power uh yeah that looks way way better okay that's much more much more manageable i think and it's yeah it looks so much better okay sweet so let's go ahead and let's get ah uh, i want to try getting these a little bit better <laughs> just so they kind of line up a little bit okay so we'll get you in the corner there uh no not that how did i grab that one no stop it i just want to look i need a free camera mode where's that build where's that build cam that uh osiris new dawn has man that thing that build camera is amazing for base building stuff okay um I mean, actually, I guess we could just put it like at a straight 90. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, cool. So we'll get another one over here. Now, I am aware that in between these, I'm going to have to have something because the light's just not going to reach all the way over here. But uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. That's not even in the corner. All right, put it right here. Like that. Like a so. Uh, that'll work. And then these guys. Uh, let's just start throwing them up here. Now, I am going to have to make more lights. I know that. I'm aware. Six is not... <laughs> six lights is not going to be enough for anything. But that's all right. Because you got to start somewhere. Okay, so we have that one there. Looks pretty good. I don't like how the, uh, the connections were holding, like, hanging out. So, mm, looks like I might not have much of an option here. Um, yeah, that'll work. Okay, cool. So last one, we're going to go over here next to the entrance. Uh, let's get this cleaned up a little bit. Ooh, that's not right. There we go. That looks a little bit better. It's always really hard, like flattening and getting things like nice and flat and level because they just like you, you pick a different polygon and it's, it's different. So then like it adjusts everything a little bit and it's super annoying, but you know, maybe if we ever get true flat back, that, that won't be the case. All right. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I am happy with that. Okay. So let's flip this guy back over and then I could throw a power cell on top of each one, but I think we're going to end up connecting them anyways to our platforms. Um, actually we might not. Oh my gosh. Look at the height difference. Look at how tall that is. Versus how tall that is. Actually, that's... It is it is sloping still. That's fine. Um, ooh, if we actually put these separately, though... Then we'll never have the lights, like, not work. Okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna leave them separate. So, we'll throw power cells on them. What do power cells require to build? I haven't built power cells. I can't even... <laughs> power cell is zinc. Oh, that's super easy. Okay, we'll do that. Because we're gonna use that for our lighting. So, power cells with lights will never dim they'll never the they never take the power out of the power source they just have to be powered they have to be connected to a power source but they don't actually draw any power so i get comments every time i do this like will how is your thing working if it's not going to be able to recharge oh actually that actually doesn't look too bad no that looks pretty good okay cool uh, so I unlocked that, but now I need zinc and I don't have any zinc. So let's go down in the cave. Let's get some sephalerite and make some zinc. All right. Zinc has been made. Ooh, let me throw this on here and let's go ahead and make some power cells. Again, I <laughs> literally never use these things. It's really funny because you make the power cells 
and then they like replenish the power of your suit that you use to make them so that's kind of funny uh so we're gonna go throw these in there now i had another idea and that was to actually throw a work light on the top of these and that might light up this area right here i don't know for sure oh i didn't make those lights oh that's not gonna work okay so we'll throw those there uh you know those lights are actually lighting up stuff pretty good it's not terrible I think I might be okay with that. Because before it was like, it was really harsh light. It was very harsh light. Um, I need tungsten one. I need one more tungsten. Tungsten, okay, two. Perfect. All right, wrong one. <laughs> we need. So we'll make two of these guys. And then I think we'll, we'll take our work light and we'll try it on the top of one and see what it kind of looks like. See if it kind of lights up the top a little bit. Uh, I love how these look on your backpack. They're like so bright. They're so bright. It's amazing. All right. So this guy, one there, one there, and voila. You know, it doesn't look too bad. All right. And then we'll go ahead and throw this up there. Oh, yeah. I think that's, I think that's the key. Yep. Okay, cool. So we need three work lights, which is going to be three copper. Luckily, I got a bunch of copper before, so... That won't be an issue. We're going to make four, though, because I need the one on my bag. Otherwise, you guys won't be able to see anything. <laughs> it's always so dark. I don't know why it's always so dark, but it's always so dark for uh, for YouTubes and stuff. And three work lights just like that. Just like that light like that. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Yes, I will. Because that's what I do. Oh, yeah, that looks so much better. Uh Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. It's not quite gonna work. Um. <laughs> just, dig, just dig it out a little bit, I guess. I don't know. God, I don't want to read. I don't want to redo the entire ceiling again. Oh, I've been messing with the ceiling for so like so many times. Um. I gotta find the perfect like angle for this thing. All right, there we go. That looks good. Unfortunately, we do have a uh, kind of a hole here. So I keep digging up higher and higher, and then, and then it just keeps the things just keep getting, you know, less and less hidden via the mountain. Oh, what's through here? Is that like a? Oh, that's okay. All right. Well, I guess we're not going back out much further that way then. Actually, hold on. Could this be an opportunity? We might have an opportunity here. Because, let's go take a peek. Where is this at? Oh, it is hidden. It's hidden in here. <gasps> you know what this opportunity is? This is the opportunity that we needed. I was wondering, I was like, hmm, how am I going to do this? We'll have to figure it out later. This is going to be where our shuttles are because the shuttles have to be outside. They have to be uh, with, they have to be, they have to have an open, uh, an open area to like to the sky. So let's try to find a nice little, that would have that been a good one. I ruined it. Um, how's this one look? Yep, we're gonna put our uh, we're gonna put a landing pad out here. Oh yes, we are. Oh yes, we. Oh, that looks terrible, actually. Let's go ahead and try to get something a little, little bit better than what we have currently. All right, so it looks pretty good. I had to come back in here to get more power because I ran out of power, but. Here we have a nice little area for our landing pad. Now, I'm probably going to have to take this out and clear this out just a little bit uh, so we can have it hidden back here. But from every angle, you would not even suspect that there's a mount. There's a there's a secret, super secret hiding shuttle thing back here. I know you'd have no idea. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. All right. So let's bring some of this out. Let's get a nice angle down. That'll actually probably work for me. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, cool. So we'll do that. Go ahead and flatten that back out a little bit more. Bring this over here. Oh dear, that was the right one. There we go. Looking pretty good. Can we get that squeezed down a little bit? Perfect. Okay. So, little area right here. Not perfectly flat, but you know what? It is what it is. So that's gonna be our little landing pad area that's gonna lead into our base. Hmm. I feel like we need a super secret entrance too. Like we need we need something super secret. You know, it'd be cool if there's water in the game where like I was thinking of like Minecrafting it to where like you could fall in a hole and like land in water and you'd be like, splash. And then, you know what I mean? But there's no water in the game. So 
I don't know. They talked about it a long time ago that they were trying to add it. So that might be something we see. But, uh, oh, looking good. Looking good. What do you guys think? It's pretty neato. I think it's pretty cool. All right. So we got that. We got some lights in here. Uh, we'll probably end up throwing. We'll probably end up throwing some more lights kind of around ish, but I don't know where exactly. I don't know exactly where. But we also need to worry about power. Now I'm trying to think, should I, could I bring power in through here? And the only problem with power is that you need it to be able to be, uh, you need the sun, like for, for solar, I need sun. So I was thinking about, I mean, we could put it up there, but then I don't know if you'd be able to see, you'd probably be able to see it like super easily. We're kind of, we're kind of trying to make like a hidden base here. Um, This might be a good spot. It'd be better if it was like over here. And we could have it like around this thing. That way, even when the sun was going down, like we still have, we, you know, maximum solar time. That's what we're looking for. I mean, obviously the top of the mountain would be the absolute best. I mean, that wouldn't be that many extender, extenders, would it? You know what? We'll deal with that in the next episode. We'll have a whole ed episode dedicated on powering the base. All right, so let's head back down here. Whee! Oh. Oh, did I jump off of nothing? It looked like I jumped off of nothing. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's start getting the base moved in here. We've been doing it. We've been waiting around long enough. And we just, we just need to get it to happen. It needs to be a thing. So we'll probably leave the research out here just for the time being. Um... We're gonna need an oxygenator. Yeah, we are. We could steal this one. We'll steal that one for now. Actually, you know what? Let's just make one, right? It's aluminum and ceramic. We'll just make another one. Um, right there. Oxygenator, perfect. Okay, so there's that. Oh, geez. There. <laughs> it's like there's no power. Where was I getting that power from, actually? Oh, this is a little tiny solar panel. I was like, there's no, there's no power even over here. All right, cool. Uh, so let's start getting stuff moved in, shall we? All right, so things are moved in. Uh, not organized yet, but moved in nonetheless. So a couple of things I was I was thinking about was if we're gonna make this like a super secret base, I'm gonna have to like deform this stuff, cover this back in. Probably have to use a terrain analyzer and make it look the same color, but we're gonna need a way to hide our vehicles. <laughs> so my initial thought was to see if I can't find a cave entrance, like a natural looking cave entrance to this area. Oh. Hmm. I was trying to maybe, maybe through here. Maybe if I expand this out and then like bring it back and around that way, if you're passing it, you'd be like, eh, there's nothing really there, you know, um, just trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. So I was hoping there'd be like one of these that was going to like go through this, through this mountain. You know what? Let's fly around and let's take a peek. Is there anything like that? Oh gosh. Holy graphite. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, well, I know where to get graphite now. <laughs> uh, oh! Hey, look at that! There's an opening to the cave that we were in. Neato. Um, I'm thinking this might be our best option right here, actually. So, I'm gonna want to try to dig it out. But it also needs to be big enough. It needs to be big enough to where I can get a large rover through. Um, so let's just go ahead and let's kind of just, like, try to naturally form the terrain a little bit. So something like... Something like this. And then try to have it, like, immediately curve around. That way it doesn't look like it's... So that way, you, if you were over here, all you would see was like, oh, look at this little flat area. That's kind of weird. And it's like, oh, wait, it opens. You know what I mean? It's like, oh my gosh, it's a super secret hidden base. Exactly what we're going for. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's just try to do this. Bring it around. And I'm going to try to get to connect to my base. But I'm also going to try not to break through the, uh, the surface above or on the side of me. So it needs to be big enough to get a large rover through. I think that's probably big enough. Okay, that looks like it's big enough. So, let's see. Let's get a reference here of how far... Oh, I need oxygen anyways. Okay, so if I bring it straight... Oh, I should be able to bring it straight over and hit the base. Oh, wow. That's going to be a lot... <laughs> that's going to be a lot further than I thought. That's okay. That's not bad. Uh, let's try this. Let's let's expand this out just a hair. And I'm thinking we're gonna have like little rooms, you know, like rooms and cave, like rooms within the cave. So we're gonna have like a storage area and like that kind of fun stuff. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Let's try to bring this out this way. Let's see where this takes us. Let's see if I can't hit. I know we're gonna hit the outside of the mountain eventually, but you know what I mean. Maybe we can find kind of where we were. Okay, where do we come out at? I right, came out right there. So that means we should be able to dig this way, maybe? Let's dig this out a little bit, so it's a little bit taller. Uh, we should be able to go this way and hit the same thing that we just dug. Oh, geez. I'm almost out of oxygen. We need to fix that right now. That's gotta, that's gotta happen. Quickly. Quickly. Get through. Let's fly. Gotta go fast. Oh, thank goodness for those jet boosters. Wait, where's... Oxygenator! I need you! <laughs> oh my gosh, I still almost died. I gotta get these all connected up. Holy moly, that was close. Alright, we're gonna get this. But then we're gonna have like a little, little hallway that leads into like our, our vehicle room. We're gonna have a vehicle room for like our uh, land vehicles. And then outside over there is gonna be where we, uh, you know, shoot off into the stars and all that fun stuff. All right, so let's go check this out. See how close we were. Hey, here it is. Right here it is. All righty, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's let's dig it down because I was, I'm a little worried about if I dig up too high, then we're gonna break through the top of the mountain and then everybody's gonna see like our super secret stuff. We gotta make the super secret base, guys. <laughs> I say this, but you know what? Nobody's ever gonna play on this anyways. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be more like dedicated servers. Once dedicated servers become a thing, oh my gosh, things like this are going to be amazing. All right, so it has been connected. Now, look at this. If you were just out here chilling, running around, doing your thing, it's like, mm, look at that. Uh, it's a mountain. Cool, going to continue on, do my thing. But guess what? <laughs> oh, little did you know, just around the corner was a super secret entrance for a base. I know. That's exactly what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. Okay, so let's get this cleaned out too. So we're gonna have to throw a room in here to actually like park the said vehicles. Um, might actually be good just to throw it right here. Oh my gosh, with the oxygen. I need more oxygen, guys. We need some tethers. All right, we're gonna tether up because I'm getting tired of running back here for oxygen. All right, boop, boop. Looks good. Okay, so this might be a good area right here to do the things. Mmm, it might not be because it doesn't look like I have that much room to play with here. It might be better to have it in here. Let's do that. Let's bring it in here. And we'll start clearing this all out. You know what? I should have the wide mod on. Why don't I have the wide mod on? Alrighty, wide mod has been acquired. Now we can take this out a little bit faster. But we have a little teeny tiny bit of wind power in 
our base right now because there's like one wind turbine working in there <laughs> so power is going to be next episode though because we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff with power so i want to get this a uh, nice just big open area i'm not worried about like flat ceilings and walls and whatnot uh it's literally just a storage a storage a garage storage man i really should be probably keeping the soil for this mm. yeah we're fine we're good we're good all right so we'll work on this just a little bit i'm not gonna put anything in here yet but I want to make it big enough to where I could have, uh, like, the large rover and stuff be made in here. Without worrying about it, like, hitting everything and all that fun stuff, so. Um, looking pretty good here, actually. I feel like this is probably a pretty decent-sized room. We could throw some lights on here. We might actually throw some work lights. We might just, like, randomly place a few work lights in here. Just so it makes it look, like, uh, more cave-esque, I guess. Oh, jeez, we're out of power. <laughs> All right, let's flatten this out. Looks good. Looks good. And we'll... No, we're out of power. It's completely dark in here. This is why I have my lights on separate powers. That way I wouldn't kill the lights every time. Um, okay, looking good. Looking good. I like it. It's, it's coming together. Coming together slowly. But that's going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did... Don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Um, oh, this guy's done. We need to get more research going. Oh, so we're... Yeah, 6390. Not bad. And then we got to close this up. Got to clean this up. But uh, our little super secret squirrel base is coming along nicely. <laughs> you, just, you guys just can't tell anybody, okay? Just don't, don't tell anybody where it's at. Because if you tell them, then that defeats the purpose of the super secret squirrel base. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to throw this research on here. And uh, yeah, that is it. So you guys have a fantastic weekend. And I will uh, I'll catch you in the next one. What do you say? Alrighty.